like, subscribe, and share. Well, let's get straight to it. Trump is a cowardly, hate-filled, demonic agitator who lusts for power, sex, and greed. He stirs up his minions with hate-filled rhetoric, promises to lead them, and instead hides in a tent where it is safe and watch his legion of fools do his dirty work. Trump does not care about these people. He does not care about these people at all. He just works them up and then he watches them do, do his dirty work. He told them that he was going to go with them. When they got there, they looked for him and he was nowhere around. Where was he? He was in a tent watching what went down. This is exactly what happened January the 6th, 2021. He said he would be there and he hid like he tried to hide his taxes. He hid the same way he tried to hide his taxes, promising to show them, and in this case, show up and lead his minions of hate to overtake the election. Trump isn't even about politics. Every one of his campaigns is nothing but a bunch of he said, she said. That's all it is, is he said, she said. And promises, similar to the one that he made about showing his taxes. Lies, similar to the ones he made about he was going to finance his entire campaign. Then he's selling tennis shoes. Then he slipped up. And he said, Christians vote for me, Christians vote for me. And then he even admitted, I'm not a Christian. But yet and still, he's rewriting the Bible. Here's a man who admitted that he is not a Christian, but he is rewriting the Bible. Don't believe me? Look it up. Donald Trump has more in common with Kim Jong-un of North Korea than he does with democracy. He has the, he weighs, he, he has the same body of Kim Jong-un of North Korea. He saluted him when he was there. He's no different. He even told his people that he was going to fix, if he became president, he would fix the elections and you wouldn't have to vote anymore. That's a dictatorship. That's a dictatorship. Then he said that he was going to give police total immunity from prosecution. That's how you set up a Nazi state give the police total immunity to do anything they want. But before I go any further, let me tell you this. Everything that evil has been doing over the past three years has worked in reverse. Everything evil is doing has been working in reverse. Nothing they're doing is working. They're losing in the Ukraine. They're losing in Israel. They're losing everywhere. Now they want to shift to Africa, talking about what we're going to do to Africa. Well, guess what? The United States military was in Niger. Niger is in Africa. And they were there on a base and Russia sent troops and put those troops on that base in Niger. And you know what the United States did? Left. They left. Now they're selling wolf tickets 
about what they're going to do to Africa. Well, if, they're, if they had any capabilities of doing anything to Africa, they would not have left that base in Niger. Russia ran them off. And not only that, Russia can jam the United States signals to their missiles. And this is what happened in Israel. And when the uh, 12 kids died, their radar was jammed. And they were hit by one of their own missiles. That's a fact. And if you're keeping up with the war and you're not watching mainstream media, then you already know this. But let's get back to Donald Trump. The only thing he can be counted on to do is exactly what he's been doing and has already done. Inspire hate with lies and hide out of harm's way while cutting taxes to the rich. See, they don't even call it trickle down anymore because they can't. So they just cut the taxes and say the hell with it. But let me ask Trump supporters a question. How many working class people has he made a fool of? How many of their lives have been damaged irreparably? because of their fear of going to jail. How many of these people have had sleepless nights? How many of these people inspired by a convicted felon is sitting in jail hoping not to be raped? While this convicted rapist is out of jail and trying to become president for what? To get immunity from prosecution. There are people suffering now whose names haven't come up yet and they are suffering from post-traumatic stress disorder, begging and praying to God that their name doesn't come up and they are not found out. How many of his minions warm bed has become a bunk in a prison? And how many lives have been damaged? Not just the, uh, the people involved in the coup, what about their families? What about the men whose families depended on his income for survival? Now their wives are stuck. And while they're stuck, what is Trump doing? Telling more lies, inspiring more people to hate while trying to become a dictator. 